Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf. In today's episode, we are gonna be learning the magic move decides the fate of your golf swing. And it is such a simple little swing key. In fact, our katana here is going to demonstrate the importance of this move throughout the episode. So let's get started. There are a million different ways to swing a golf club, but there's one common denominator among awesome ball strikers, and that is the club path on the downswing always approaches through the middle part of the back, middle lower part of the back right here. Whereas miserable golfers, like most of the golfers out there, suffering from the same old bad habits, they tend to do the opposite. The club approaches through the upper part of your back and over and hacks down the top of the ball, and you're so annoyed, miserable, and you want to cry yourself to sleep every night. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore! But you're here, and you're gonna learn how to use a magical wand that naturally occurs in your golf swing as a trail arm. You're gonna learn how to use it like the pros to hit the ball consistently on the same spot every time, powerful, and never hit chopping again. And this is gonna get your backswing together, and it's gonna get your downswing together, it's gonna cover the whole golf swing and make your life happy. Because golf is life, and if golf is miserable, life is miserable. Let's face it. Now, time to access the magic wand. The pros have a magic wand in their trail arm, and it works like this. Every pro, regardless of how they swing, keeps the club out in front of them in the backswing like this, club out in front of me, it's out in front of them in the backswing, and then it goes under on the downswing. And some pros do it to varying degrees, but they're all keeping the club out in the beginning, hands in here, club out, and then it shifts to club behind, and then hands leading. Every pro does this. Every consistent ball striker does this. It's the magical wand that is the trail arm. Whereas miserable golfers out there suffer from the same old chopping and over the top problem, they take the club under in the beginning, up and over, and it's an endless cycle of chopping like this. I'm working on the railroad. Yeah, no, that's not fun. It's miserable and that's why you're here on YouTube. You wanna get rid of that. Hopefully it's the last time you ever see a move like that. So. Let's get away from the destructive wand that is under and over and enter the world of the magic wand, which is out to under. Grab a club, put it in your trail forearm. If you're right-handed, it's your right arm. If you're left-handed, it's your left arm. It's the arm that supports the ball at impact. And let's just do this without the club first. You're gonna take the, take the arm out in front of you and just bring it back in the first part of the swing so that the hand points down at the golf ball. If you do that, the club magically stays out in front of you already setting you up for success right here. And then, if you just continued this, this motion right here to the top, gravity would force it to shift direction so that the club approaches through the middle part of your back here. Gravity does that. Yeah, you could do this, but that's not in a lot of cases because the weight of the club's so heavy, you have to fight yourself to do this but you, have, you work with yourself when you do this. All pros go out to under, and today you're gonna become like that, out to under. Once you've got this motion, this simple motion of just keeping the arm quiet, don't do anything with it. Keep the club, keep the arm quiet, keep the hand pointed down, there we go. We're out to under. Now we're gonna get over the golf shot here and we're gonna focus on the same thing. Take the club back, keep the hand pointed down. There you go, club stays out in front of you. We continue our backswing. Naturally, because you kept this relationship, you've got to go under on the through swing, approaching through the middle lower part of your back right here, magical. That's the key move of every pro. They do this and you can do this. It's today is the day, today is the day. You take back your golf swing today. Then we get over the ball and we say, hello ball, how are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous, thank you very much. Same motion, start, keep the club out in front of you as long as possible, it will shift directions. You gotta trust it, it's a magical wand and it only works if you trust it. This isn't like granting three wishes, you gotta trust the wand. Keep the club out in front of you. And I'm exaggerating here because I wanna show you how much under I can go if I keep the club out in front of me. Out in front of me.
it has to go under if I keep it out. And then once you've gotten comfortable with keeping the club out, you should be seeing a totally different path in your golf swing. One that is full of joy, happiness, and beautiful golf shots. The club approaching through the middle part of your back like that. The beautiful approach into the golf ball that you want. Then you can start having fun and enjoying your golf life. Because golf is life. And if golf is miserable, life is miserable. So don't be miserable. Have fun, enjoy golf, keep the club out, and go under. Let's do it. Let's do it, Segudo Golfers. Out to under all day, all day long. Path is always gonna be there. And now I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna take a little less out, I'm gonna take it back normal. See what you're gonna do is just build it into your regular swing like that, and then it'll all be built in so you don't have to think about it, it just starts happening. It's very simple, it starts happening. Keep the club out in front of you. It's magical, it's so magical. So Segudo golfers, we've all got a wand. It's a trail forearm. It's your choice if you want to use it destructively <coughs> or magically. Your choice. Golf is life. And if golf is happy, life is happy. If golf is miserable, life is miserable. I strongly recommend that you grab a magic wand. The magical wand that creates beautiful downswings like this all day long. Now on a micro scale with the pros, you don't see a big loop. You're gonna see something similar though. You're gonna keep to see the club out in front of them. I like this, where the club's vertical in the first part of the swing, intersecting the bicep, right there. And then it has to go under because they've kept it out so long. That's just how it works. Golf 101, it's how it works. I wish more golfers knew this because they would be happier if they did. That's why we're doing this video today. I want you be happy playing your best golf right now. So, Segudo Golfers, thanks again for tuning in. And if you like this content, subscribe because I'm gonna help you become the best ball striker you can be through a body-friendly and simplified approach to the golf swing. If you're looking for an easy way to put the whole swing together, check out my website, segudo.golf, where I teach you a simplified approach to the golf swing and take care of everything in your golf game from short game, chipping, pitching, putting, through the full swing foundation to finish, take care of your whole golf game in simple three to five minute videos, all at segudo.golf. For the price of a Starbucks coffee at 10 bucks a month, you can be playing your best golf right now. Have an awesome week, and I will see you on the range. Remember how I said the katana can show us to access the magic wand of our golf swing? Well, yes, if you hold a katana, you know it's samurai pose. Johnny Bravo, hip, ha, hu. The samurai pose actually forces you to unwind and hit under instead of over. From a samurai pose, you have no choice but to unwind and have the club or the katana approach to the middle part of your back, which is exactly what you want. So a katana can show you a lot about your golf swing. Take your club out, and this is a bonus tip by the way. Try it out. Take your club and then get into the katana action position. Now, if you were gonna hit something with a katana, you would sling it down like that. Well, this is what it looks like in the golf swing. That's a lot of speed right there. And you know what it does? It never goes over out in front of you. Now, I don't want you going around crossing the line to the top, but just an example to show you that katana samurais do not swing katanas over the top. They swing katanas under. You can do the same in your golf game. Get your katana, action pose, under. Very Matthew Wolf-like, isn't it? Do your samurai katana swing under all day long. It works. So it's a good old golfers. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of katana action here. You'll be seeing this in a future episode for sure, no doubt about it. 
and check out my episode on Monday. We'll be talking about a PGA Tour player and we'll have some fun, a little lesson we can take away from that as well. Have a rocking week.